Hey everybody, this is Robert Mack with Irvine Real Estate Link. It's a wonderful, sunny, beautiful Friday afternoon. Uh, I'm gearing up for the Super Bowl and uh, I hope you're doing the same and you're excited to watch the Packers and the Steelers really battle it out on Sunday. Um, what I want to do is uh, I want to talk about an issue that uh, is, I think, under-discussed uh, throughout the escrow process um, and it's actually in the escrow process with your lender. Now, you've, you've submitted an offer, your offer has been accepted, you've already been pre-approved, that's, that's a long time ago. Now, you've been pre-approved for a loan based on your current financial situation. And what happens is you want to make sure that that financial situation doesn't really change too dramatically during the escrow process because when the lender pre-approves you for a loan and a certain amount of uh, money, if anything changes before the escrow process closes, it may disqualify you from getting approved. So I got an article today um, from a lender of mine and he has four reasons, uh, four things you shouldn't do during the escrow process that may disqualify you from you know, securing and getting approved for that loan right at the, at the, in the, during the home stretch. So uh, the first issue is don't pay off large bills. Um, you know, like I said, the, the lender has already qualified you, they have a debt to income ratio, they know what your debt is, and you've already been pre-approved for a certain amount of money. By spending more money and paying off large debts, it may throw off the equation. So uh, if you're going to do anything like that, you want to make sure you talk to your lender first. They have strategies and, and tactics uh, for, for paying off bills and debts uh, specifically in a certain way because they want to make sure there's a paper trail involved and that we can account for all the money. The second issue is don't move your money. If you have several different accounts and the lender has already pre-approved each account and has already va validated and verified that the money in each account is indeed yours, don't make any large moves because what's going to happen is it's going to throw off um, everything that the lender has already pre-approved you for. Secondly, or thirdly, I'm sorry, don't change jobs. This is huge. It happens a lot. It's going to totally throw off, um, you know, the equation. It, you know, what if your job, um, you have, uh, you're getting less hours, or you're getting less money, or uh, you know, there's certain things involved, or you're not a W-2 employee. There's so many things that are involved with switching jobs. Um, that's something you want to make sure you don't do. Try to stick with your current job when you were pre-approved, and if you have to switch after the escrow process, then that's something you can consider. And finally. Don't make major purchases. Don't add any additional debt to what you already owe, what the lender has already seen and what they've pre-approved you for. You know, I've heard it happen before where people go buy a car or you may get excited because you're buying a new home and you go buy furniture and you put it on the credit card. What's gonna happen is right down in the wire, when the lender goes to re-approve you for that loan, they're gonna see you have some additional debt and that's gonna throw off the balances. So. Those are the four key issues I'm going to tell you one more time here. Don't pay off any bills, don't move your money, don't change jobs, and don't make major purchases. Now, if you have to do any of these four, consult your lender first. They may have a strategy for you to get the, get the job done, uh, but don't do this on your own. You know you're working with a lender. Uh, I'm hoping that you're trusting the lender you're working with, so ask them for their advice, put them to work for you, make sure you don't do anything to jeopardize your loan approval. Um, if you're working with a good lender, they should have already gone over this with you, this is really important, and if not, bring this up to them, have them discuss these four issues with you so that you're on the same page with them and nothing happens. The hard part uh, is over, you found a beautiful home, you got your offer accepted, now you want to close escrow and you don't want any surprises. I'm a fan of surprises, but only when they're good ones. I don't like bad surprises and I'm sure you don't either. So don't get stuck in that trap. Um, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Friday. And uh, I hope you really have a great time on Sunday watching the Super Bowl. And I hope your team wins. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go to my website at irvinerealestatelink.com for so many great buyers and sellers resources. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.